Welcome to Tokyo, where ancient tradition lives on amongst 21st century bustle. It's the 43rd Artistic Gymnastics World Championships. Tokyo Tower dominates the skyline, but it's the superb gymnastic performances that will be the focus of attention. A city of 13 million people and its beautiful night skyline set the backdrop for a thrilling competition. And it's the women that take the stage first in this final day of competition. Beam, they present a real challenge for Victoria Kamova. She looks so good in qualifying. She had a few problems again in the all around, but here, Yao Yinan. Yao Yinan qualified in fourth position, but she's got some superb work on beam. Standing full twist. Very, very difficult. A tiny little adjustment at the end. Lovely rhythm. And the flick to lay out Sami. Very, very secure in the landing. Nice and high in the split leap. Very light of touch in the walkover. That's super, the sheep jump. Heels touching the head. Head well away from the beam. Strong in the front somersault. Now, she was third in the all round competition. Very, very secure on the spin. 15.066, she qualified with, and that was a beautiful leap. The ring split with the head well back. And a double pike with a little pace. Slightly deep on landing. But that is immensely impressive, a stand, a full twist. And just, you'll see the shoulders move back here and the pace. So this is going to be the target, 15.233, difficulty 6.3. That is the score they have to beat. She's been focused, as of all the Americans, all the way through. The USA have a particular approach to competition. The all-around champion, Jordan Weber. As she qualified in third place, 15-2-3-3. Seen Yao Yinan out in front at the moment. Very, very solid on the acrobatics. And just a little bit flat, I feel, on the leaps. Not really achieving the 180 separation that the judges are looking for, but the acrobatics are super. Fifteen two three three is the score. A Yao Yunnan, and that's the one. She, oh, that's very difficult. The quarter turn can't spot the beam when you complete it. It's nice too in the aerial. Standing full twist, and really that is so impressive at that stage of the competition where she is towards the end of the routine. Now then, lots of power to build up. One, two flicks, two and a half twists and a little skip forward and... Uh, 
Great challenge from her. Two and a half twists. Now then, little shrug, she's waiting. 15.133, not enough to take the lead. In second at the moment. Yao Yunnan in front. Jordan Weber in second. This is Alexandra Reisman. Seventeen years old, qualified down in six, and she'd be looking to improve on that. She has a six-three difficulty. Very, very sharp across the top of the beam. No nonsense at all. Very difficult. In the leap, and now then. Taking no chances, a little bit conservative for the leaps, but she really does take the brakes off when she's doing the acrobatics, just like that. Superb. And just a little bit heavy with the training leg on the split, but again, the immaculate acrobatics. Stacking an awful lot into this routine. Very, very secure. And the Americans really have set out their store for the Olympic Games. They look so impressive in this World Championships. Plenty of depth. Double Arabian, that's a very, very difficult dismount. Great courage. <laughs> they like it. She attacked that front somersault. Rock solid in the acrobatics. A little bit hesitant in the gymnastic skills, but look at this dismount. Double Arabian. Ooh, 15 0 6, 6 third place at the moment. It was difficult, but they were heavy on execution. As she qualified in second place and she has some wonderfully elegant work. And it was a 6-4 difficulty and a nice, quiet, simple little start. So she's totally under control. Pike Salto joined very fluidly with the Corbett flick. And the half turn in the front somersault. This is great stuff from her. Yao Yinan out in front at the moment. Then Jordan Weaver. Then Alexandra Reisman. But it could all change after this. This is superb work. She's very, very accurate and precise on this difficult work. And look at the way she drifted through. First with the leg high. Then, with the tight body, skipping through the side salto. This is lovely. Oof, into split, nicely connected, and well back in the sheep. The first time, not clear connection, but it doesn't matter. She satisfied that requirement. Now, what for the dismount? Has to be accurate. And indeed it was. The tiniest of adjustments. A little sigh and look of relief there. Yao Yunnan thought it was good. And from where I'm sitting, it was great. Front salto half turn. But this is her forte. She looks so elegant. And the connections beautifully done. Sri Lee, 15.866 by a country mile, the best score. The difficulty of 6-6, wonderful work from her. Elena Razia from Romania. She qualified in seventh. 
17 years old. Third all round in the Europeans early this year and uh, a full twist. Almost came to grief. She qualified down in seventh, so. It's a tough challenge for her. It was always a tussle in days gone by between Romania and China. That was nice on beam. The aggression and the attack of the Romanians against the grace and pace of the Chinese. Oh, almost lost it. And it'll be a question of difficulty in the end, I'm sure. Not quite the 180 leg separation on the split. Lots of focus, builds up to the dismount. Two and a half twist, just the pace. Elena Razzia. China one, China two, USA three at the moment. Can Romania get into the mix? A little falter backwards there. Two and a half twist. Fifth place and 14.533 for Razzia. And China dominant on beam. Swilu, a super routine, 15.866 over Yao Yinin and Jordan Weaver takes bronze for the USA. And a real demonstration from Swilu. Over half a mark better than the rest of the field. A worthy gold medalist in there. To take bronze, the all round champion, Jordan Weaver. But there's no question, she is world champion on beam. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem of People's Republic of China. Metal smiles. And so, for the last World Championship battle for the women here in Tokyo. And what about little B? Floor exercise, and we have the reigning world champion, Laura Mitchell. She's back in. She didn't qualify, but here she is. She qualified in ninth, but one of the gymnasts injured, and here she is with a chance to repeat her victory of 12 months ago. That's a lovely combination. Oh, look at that. Double Arabian and the little jump out, the stag leap from it. She has this magic combination of choreography, dance, and superb tumbling ability. Just a pace back there. Semi Mucho is the music, and that's her trademark. She does that on beam, the Cossack spins. And made a very, very good start to this exercise. Well into the rhythm of it all now. Another big tumble coming up. Two and a half twists in to lay out front somersault. Tiny bounce of the legs, but it's ring split. Oh, and a little error there. So on the dance element, on the gymnastic element, she come to grief. It's amazing, really. She need to put it in somewhere. Hits the double pike and into the split deep. 
Very good thinking. That's the leap she would normally do earlier on, but she put it in right at the end. Lauren Mitchell thinking very, very quickly there on her feet. The Cossack turns. So difficult. And she does that on beam as well. Excellent tumbler. That's the double pike. Into the split leap. So that's the reigning world champion's bid to retain her title. 14.733. Execution down. That is a reachable target. Yao Yinan. Third in the all round, 16 years old. She qualified in fourth. Double layout, it is superb. Well, it's going well. A triple twist into the leap. 14.733 is the target, and the way it's going, tiny little tip past the vertical out of the spins. But she's presenting it so well. She's got so much projection. Lovely. Drifts out of the walkout skill. Again, she finds enough control to put a leap in at the end of the twisting tumble. Very high, the leaps, of course. She's uh, at home on beam, and that's where they originate. Demonstrating here on floor, total control. This is big. A double pike, just a little skip forward. Such a presence for one so tiny. She really does sell the exercise. Her teammates delighted with it, look. And look at that double layout shape. Cracking start to the routine. Pulls the legs over the top to make sure of the landing. Lofty in the double pike. She's gone into first with 14.866. She's delighted. Now Yunnan is in front, Laura Mitchell still in second, but this is Alexandra Reisman who qualified in first place. And she has absolutely stunning tumbling ability. One and a half twists, double Arabian into punch front. Fantastic start. To the strains of Avanagila, she's tumbling away, surely towards a medal. That's beautiful. A double pike. And now in for the projection, the selling of the exercise. High in the split ring, skipping away around the floor. Beautifully done. Full turn. No problem at all. Back to the power. And a triple twist all the way around. This is a huge challenge from Raisman. If she stands it up, which she does, tiny little adjustment, but what a final this is turning out to be. Yao Yinan out in front, but this tumbling, very high, very powerful. Look at this, double tuck Arabian and into a punch front with a kick out. Lovely to watch. 
Very well disciplined, shoulder down in the double pike Arabian. Lovely stuff. Tumbling, her forte. Triple twist all the way round. 15 she scored and the lead is hers at the moment. Very difficult. Good execution mark as well. Now then. Silu. 14.6 qualified in second. Victorious on the beam. What can she show us on floor? Well, oh, that's impressive. Triple twist into stag leap. Two and a half twist into full twist. And it's the choreography, the way she projects and sells. Look, all those little arm actions and head positions. Oh, and that's four spins. A quadruple spin, and she was rock solid and absolutely vertical out of it. One and a half twist backwards, one and a half twist forwards. Do you know, this is quite delightful to watch. Way high in the leaps, accurate. And really quite captivating this uh, this floor routine. Sharp with the spins with leg high. So far, she's on course for another goal. Double pike. Super. Now then, it's the USA in one. It's China in two, and this is a very strong bid from Sui Liu. Look at that. Combining, tumbling with choreography to great effect. She's done it, gone into the lead, 15-0-6-6. Look at the execution score, well up there, difficult as well. Great joy in the Chinese camp. But it's not over yet. The senior. Afanaseva, and she again substituted at the last minute. Lovely double layout. She is a very elegant, graceful gymnast, and she can tumble too. Whip over, another whip over. Oh, super. Into the triple twist. Lovely presence, great deportment and posture. China one, USA two, China three. Will it change? Can Russia get into the frame? One and a half twist into full twist. Nice little leap with change leg at the end of it. Just so she's in total control. This is important. Two and a half spins and keeps within the vertical line. This is lovely. Been very impressive so far. This is important. A double pike with a tiny skip. Women's gymnastics on four is about selling, it's about projection, it's about choreography, as well as hitting all your tumbles. And this really was impressive. Could we have a surprise at the very last gasp? Hugely impressive from Afanaseva. She's come into this competition and she really has made the most, and she looks a little bit worried, this really. Oh, look at that for a finish. 9.033 for execution. 15.133. She's taken the gold medal. A fun saver for Russia. A sprung a surprise. Fantastic result. 
China, in the end, it's a silver medal sandwiched between the bronze of Alexander Reisman, but that great performance from Ksenia Afanaseva, worthy of gold. Great final. So the last women's gold medal has gone to Russia. It's gone to Ksenia Afanaseva in a fairy tale ending. Silver and bronze. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem of Russian Federation. A lovely smile to finish the women's competition at this World Championships. A great finish too. A fun to save her. Sweet you and Alexandra Raisman.